The application process um, differs between undergraduate and postgraduate. So undergraduate, it's all through UCAS. It's very standardized, formalized, and I think pretty easy to understand. Postgraduate, it's run by faculties, by individual courses, by universities. I think the crucial thing to do with undergraduate, with postgraduate applications, read the instructions. Okay. The number of emails I, I receive from students going, I want to apply this course, but I don't know how. And I do kind of, it's hard not to imagine or not to think, well, there is a giant button that says how to apply. That, that might be a clue. So do your research on the web pages and follow the instructions as best you can. If you get stuck, uh, every British university has an international office, and their only job is to help you. So I would always go, if you need help, to the international office rather than to the individual faculty or course, because the, the I.O., they're just there to help you. Um, in terms of personal statement, I think um, the same basic rules apply, whether it's undergraduate or postgraduate. You'll see a lot of guidance online on, on what you should and shouldn't write. But I think when you look at what you've written, you need to be looking to see whether you've answered three key questions. Number one is, why did I pick this course or subject? For undergraduate, because you're applying to five universities, you can't be specific to a university, but what you can do is to look for, say, a common module that is across all five of your choices and talk about that module. Uh, it shows you've done your research. I guarantee you the academic at each university will think you're writing about him, because that's how they're wired, I'm afraid. Um, uh, and it also means that you've dr drilled down really deeply into each of the courses and why you've chosen them. And that will also be useful if you ever have to do a visa application as well. The second element is why you will write for the course. And that's the biggest element. That should be 60% of your answer. Um, any reading that you've done, any extracurricular that you've done that's relevant to the course. Um, and then the third element is what you're going to do after graduation. Um, say 20% of your answer. If you don't know, don't write, I don't know, think of something and write about that. Look decisive. The main thing people are looking for is that they understand the subject and they have some kind of passion for it. If you're an academic, you want students with passion. Um, so make sure that comes across. Uh, it's not really difficult and I do think that universities and schools tend to terrify students a bit about personal statements. But if you answer those three key questions, you really can't go too far wrong.